the Beyond Burger versus a regular burger. And here I have both the raw and cooked versions of the Beyond Burger and regular grass-fed meat. But before we go into tasting these and comparing the taste, we have to understand the ingredients and the nutrient content. Of course, beef is, well, just meat and fat. That's what beef is. In the Beyond Burger, we have water, pea protein isolate, expeller pressed canola oil, refined canola oil, and 2% or less of the following. Cellulose from bamboo, methyl cellulose, potato starch, natural flavor, maltodextrin, yeast extract, sunflower oil, uh, about 15 other ingredients. Uh, if you guys want to read that, you can pause the video and, and read that. But the, the main things to note here are the vegetable oils in here that will oxidize when you cook them. So there is a concern about oxidized omega-6 fats in these burgers. And if we look at the actual vitamin content, it doesn't have the vitamins that meat has. It also has a higher sodium content than meat has in comparison to potassium. Normally meat has maybe one part sodium to five parts potassium. This has over one part sodium to one part potassium. So definitely higher sodium content. And in regards to the nutrients we're missing, grass-fed beef has pretty much all the fat soluble vitamins in small amounts. It has vitamin A, vitamin E, vitamin K, small amounts of vitamin C, as well as vitamin D3 in small amounts. So we're definitely missing the nutrient content in regards to vitamins, as well as omega-3s. That's a big reason we eat a lot of animal foods is for the linoleic acid in grass-fed beef, as well as the preformed DHA in grass-fed products. And initially, when I opened this up and I smelled it, I was like, oh God, I have to eat this. Oh, it has this it smells like a laboratory. It has this weird chemical smell to it. Whereas, you know, regular beef smells like regular beef. Fortunately, when I cooked it, it, it had a much better smell. And I cooked these over a wood fire. So I'm assuming this wood fire that I use is going to cover up a lot more flavor than a regular pan sear would. Of course, the burger I made smells delicious, but the Beyond Burger... It still has that off chemical smell with the smell of a wood fire. So I season these burgers the same way. I just put salt on them with fresh ground black pepper. Italian black pepper because I'm Italian. But you guys, you guys better subscribe. You better share this video because I am not happy that I have to put this in my mouth. So this is the, the Beyond Plant Based Burger. I can't, it just smells like it's not something you should be eating. It smells like chemicals. That's where it belongs, on the floor. How could anyone eat this? Oh my God. Ah, oh. it tastes like like rancid oil. Like that's what it tastes like. It's disgusting. I didn't think it was going to be this bad, to be honest. I was actually coming into this fairly objective, saying, "Oh well, maybe it tastes pretty good," but this is disgusting. I won't feed this to anything. Now this is the cooked one, and I cooked it like medium. Okay, this is actually really interesting. So, that raw Beyond Burger tasted disgusting. Like, just wanted to spit it out immediately. This cooked one that I cooked on the grill over wood fire, this actually tastes pretty good. It still has an off taste to it, but compared to the raw version, it's night and day. This reminds me of when I compared grain-fed beef to grass-fed beef, and I'll link that video in the description, but when I tasted the grain-fed steak raw, I wanted to spit it out because it had this off taste to it. But for some reason, cooking the grain-fed steak covered up those negative flavors. I think I'm seeing a similar thing here where if you cook this, you're covering up the negative flavors of the meat uh, somehow. But uh, this is just poison. So uh, cooked, it doesn't you know cooked it doesn't taste it doesn't taste horrendous for sure, but 
Uh, it's definitely not good for you. It's lacking vitamins. It has inflammatory omega-6 fats. And if you smelled that raw, you wouldn't put that near anyone. Now, I'm going to have the regular beef. So here's just, just raw ground beef, 8515. This is awesome. Like this beef, the raw beef has a much milder flavor than the plant-based stuff. And it's not even comparable. I always tell people, if a food tastes good in its raw state, it's generally pretty safe to say that it's safe to eat from a health perspective. All right, now I'm gonna try the, just the regular cooked burger that I put on the grill. So, I don't really know what they could do to improve this. Uh, obviously, the taste is maybe 50 to 60% of what a regular burger is, but they will never be able to replicate the nutrient content of meat because those vitamins don't exist outside of their animal form. And I don't think they'll ever be able to replicate the fat of, unless they can start making fat in a laboratory somehow from a, that made from animal fat. So I don't really know. If you guys would like to support me, please just subscribe and share the video. Uh, if you guys would like to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations, uh, feel free to shoot me an email, frankatefano at gmail.com. I help people optimize their entire lifestyle through diet, water, sun, as well as exercise. If you guys want to check out some other things I have, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Twitter, I have an Amazon shop with a bunch of products I use. If you guys want to know, you know, what salt I used in this video, uh, check out my Amazon shop for sure. Uh, if you guys need help sourcing food, whatever it may be, that, that's another thing you can reach out to me for. But thank you guys for watching and let me know uh, what videos you guys would like to see in the future. I'm really excited for this week because I'm doing a bunch of unique videos in kind of celebration for 10k subs.